In this demonstration, we're going to look at creating resource mailboxes. Now, a resource mailbox, if we have a look here, if we just click on the plus button here, we can create a resource mailbox for a room mailbox or an equipment mailbox. purpose of these resource mailboxes is to allow us to book either room or some equipment. So we'll go with the room mailbox for purpose of this demo. Need to fill out this little table. I'm going to call this resource Newcastle Room 201. Alias will be Newcastle Room 201. I'm going to put it in the sales organizational unit. I'm going to put it in Newcastle as the location. It doesn't have a phone associated with it. Capacity of 12. And we're going to put this on to mailbox database 1. So we'll select our save button. That will now go away and create the security principle as well as the mailbox. Once it's created, we'll just edit the mailbox itself and we'll just have a look at some of the properties that we can put in place. So on the general page, we've got general information relating to the room. Basically what I filled out as part of creating the object. Booking delegates, we've got two different uh, ways of actually getting exception or acceptance of actually setting up these rooms. So we can accept or decline booking requests automatically or we can specify specify a delegate and that delegate will say yes you can have the room no you can't have the room or it's tentative just in case somebody more important wants the room i know our booking options what we've got here is we can allow repeating meetings allow schedule only during working hours so as you can see there they're currently set to eight to five always decline if end of date is beyond this limit we can specify the maximum lead time so we'll say we can book up 365 days in advance specify the maximum duration 24 hours and what we'll do is we'll put some text in place here just so that the meeting organizer will get something meaningful back as a bounce back from the server. And I'm just going to have in here your room request was accepted. Contact information, so we can fill out contact information. See what email address has been generated next to that room. Specify mail tip, so this is something we can see before we send the email. And also as well, mailbox delegation, so we can specify who can send as send on behalf of and also have full access permission. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to save this off. Now we have this up and running, the next thing to do is just test to see if it does work. So we set this to auto accept or auto reject. So what we'll do is we'll go to our client machine. And on our client machine I've logged in as a user called Alex. So what we're going to do on behalf of Alex is Alex is now going to book a meeting. So Alex click new. Then the calendar at this point here, fill out the details relating to the meeting. So we'll just call this one sales meeting. What we'll do is we'll add a room. And what we want to do here is add our Newcastle room, which is currently free. Scheduling assistant is making sure that oh, it's pulling down the information relating to has anybody already got this booked. We'll add some people in here. So we'll add an administrator. And then what we'll do is we'll just put in, please come to the meeting. What we'll do is we'll specify that this meeting will start, um, yep, yeah, let's specify this as Friday. And then what we'll do is we'll specify this to actually start at, we'll make it nine o'clock. So uh, we'll finish the meeting at, let's say 10 o'clock. So then at this point here is we'll now just send the email request or the meeting request. So as you can see, it's popped up now in the list. What we'll do is we'll just come to mail, so what we've got at this point here, we can see Newcastle Room 201, sales meeting, your request was accepted. So meeting request was accepted. The other way we can set up meeting requests is we can set up delegates. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the server. And on the server, what we'll do is we'll just edit the settings on the resource mailbox. And what we're going to do here is we're going to modify the booking delegate. So we'll come to booking delegates. We go for select delegates who can accept or decline booking requests. Click our plus button. What we'll do is we'll specify AMRA and select add. And we'll select OK. And we'll select save. Now we'll go back to Alex. So what Alex is going to do, going to go back to calendar. At this point here, new meeting request. What we're going to do, book that for today. We're going to book it from... Let's book it from 4 o'clock through to 4.30. What we'll do here is we'll just call this end of day. And then what we'll do is we'll add a location. So again, we'll add a location. Go for room 201. Just put wrap-up meeting. 
And then what we'll do is we'll again just add our administrator user. And what we'll do is we'll send that meeting request. It's popped up. We'll go back to our mail. And what we can see here is your request was received and is pending approval. So we'll click on that to see what's going to say here. So at this point here, yep, it's pending approval. This one was accepted. So at this point here, we'd have to wait for the approval to come through. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just come across. We've logged in as AMRA on this machine. We can see that Alex Darrow has requested end of day meeting. So we'll highlight that meeting request. And what we're going to do at this point here is we will accept this meeting request. And what we'll do is we'll just send the response now. And we've sent that off. So now what we'll do is we'll just go back to Alex. So what we've got here is we've got Alex at this point here. And what we can see now is Amra Zaki has now accepted this event. And that's the end of this demonstration of looking at resource mailboxes. Thank you.